Good morning. It's Monday, January 24th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Speaking in Tongues, Lesson from a Paralyzed Shisu, and our scriptures, Acts chapter 2. On the day of Pentecost, all the believers were meeting together in one place. Suddenly there was a sound from heaven like the roaring of a mighty windstorm, and it filled the house where they were sitting. Then what looked like flames or tongues of fire appeared and settled on each of them, and everyone present was filled with the Holy Spirit and began speaking in other languages as the Holy Spirit gave them this ability. This is our resident human manager, Willie. You can understand Willie's language if you're listening. His bark and stare are both loud and piercing. His eyes stare a laser hole right through you. It bellows and slashes out messages like, Are you not wearing your hearing aids, Russell boy, or are you just plain dumb? (laughs) I want to eat now, not four minutes from now. Hey, human, put me up on that chair now. Or, hey, I know there are treats in your pocket. They belong to me. At times, Welly, quote-unquote, says things with those eyes which I don't understand. He gets a little louder at those times. This past week, I finally began to understand some of what Welly has been trying to teach me. When he wants something, he exhibits the most persistence I've ever seen. He can be irritating to an impatient human who would rather have quiet for his reading and study. He's not the cuddly sort of hound unless he's been fed enough and would sleep it off hanging upside down in a windstorm at the North Pole. (laughs) Sometimes, when he's calm, he'll even let you pet him or scratch his itch under the chin. Oh, just a little further up and over to the left, please. Sometimes, an insistent bark is not about food. It's a warning to get him to the outside business area before it's too late. We've had to learn a whole new set of dog language. Well, his back legs don't work much, so his needs push us in different ways than having a pet who can fend for himself. The language of an old, partially paralyzed Shih Tzu has biblical implications for the family of God. The people that heard the disciples speaking in tongues that first Pentecost day did not get what was being said. They simply figured the disciples were drunk. Like humans trying to take care of a disabled Shih Tzu, they were missing something about what God had been saying to them for ages. And the message was this. No matter the differences between you and the next guy, the fact that I love both of you, says God, should tell you that I want you to love each other and get along and stop figuring out ways to control each other. Just do what's best for the other guy. Wellie's been trying to get through to his dense caretaker for nearly seven years now. And while I've learned a lot about what he's telling me, I realize when it comes to speaking in Shih Tzu language, I've still got much to learn. And that realization is 99% of the work of developing patience with the differences between us. For you today... In the human family, we have just as many communication fails as when you try to understand Shih Tzu ease. But when you develop a little patience with each other, the joy of the journey comes back. Get you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.